personally, I think... Absolutely. You're back out there. I'm so behind on my work. If it's the report due anyway. Let me know if I can help you. Look at me, I haven't got a clue. Is there a type of weapon Combatech won't make? It's nice to see a fresh face Everyone's welcome, here. so long as you keep your hands you to yourself. In whenever Would you? I I'd really appreciate it. I saw them hanging around the UC surplus earlier today. They sure looked suspicious to me. They've been coming here regularly for the last couple weeks, and all they do is sit on the balcony and watch the UC surplus. I thought I heard them mention a robbery, but I'm not sure. They seem to know I'm onto them, so they stop talking about it when I'm around. That's not how I want this handled. Kay's place is the only safe haven in the well. I can't condone violence. If anyone's going to handle them, it should be security. But I have to be sure they're up to something before I get the authorities involved. I don't want to get anyone on security's bad side for no reason. Why don't you do a little sleuthing for me? Maybe you'll have better luck eavesdropping on them than I did. We can decide what to do once we figure out if they're really up to something. No shortage of hungry mouths to feed around here. Damn. I was hoping I had it wrong. <sighs> I guess that settles it. We have to get the authorities involved before they can go through with the robbery. You should take this straight to Officer Endler at the security office. He'll look into it. If he gives you a hard time, tell him I sent you to make the report. That'll get him on your side. Sort of. He's a regular customer, and I've reported crimes to him before. He's more fair-minded than most of the Wells security officers. Head out the door and turn left. It's all the way at the end of the street. You can't miss it. Thanks. Let me know when you've made the report, okay? I heard the mantis is back. 
people joke. I say those are all zealots worship a snake. But let me tell you, it ain't a snake. It's some kind of I heard it was a snake. It was done so quickly the Chakra's alliance didn't have the cuts to pay. Is it real? Not if I know. But they think it is. And that makes them dangerous. The one thing the UC can manage to put is a security station down here. Something I can help you with? <sighs> well, that's what we're here for. What's going on? The UC surplus. You sure about that? It's been a long time since someone was stupid enough to rob that place. It's a military outfit for one thing. Most criminals don't want to make an enemy of the UC. The guy who runs is pretty intense, too. He wouldn't think twice about shooting a would-be thief. That's so. <laughs> Nobody in the well is more reliable than Teresa. If she says there's a problem, I believe it. You can tell her I'm personally looking into it. That's an ease of mine. Those thieves won't be so cocky with security on patrol.
Break it open. Uh, the people of New Homestead me. We're taking supplies to New Homestead. We don't have anything valuable. You didn't hear this from me? Are those ecliptic mercenaries? The factions use them sometimes. That was quick. How'd things go with Officer Endler? I knew I could count on him. He always handles this kind of thing fairly. Thanks for your help with this. I feel a lot better knowing security's on patrol down there. I've got limited resources, but I try not... Oh, you remembered. I'm touched, dear, really. Yes, there's absolutely something you can do to help. All the children seem to have the same stomach bug, but I'm having trouble diagnosing it. Pediatrics isn't my specialty. But one of my colleagues, Dr. Lebedev, is an expert. If I had his research notes, I'm sure I could diagnose the disease and find a treatment. 
He works topside at Reliant Medical. It's easy to find. It's right between Mast and Orion Tower. Dr. Lebedev is always there. I've seen an uptick in cases of sick children in the medbay recently. They all seem to be presenting the same symptoms, but I can't identify the cause. It isn't serious enough to kill them, but I haven't found an effective treatment yet. That has me worried. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'd go myself, but I can't leave the medbay unattended. that can't be addressed here. If you walk in, you will almost assuredly walk out. Welcome to Reliant. If you're in need of medical assistance or require supplies, I am sure we can accommodate you. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. Well, everyone knows Reliant, largest medical provider in the settled systems. They've spent decades advancing medical science with their research division, and have built an entire supply network to keep us all healthy. They've always been quite proud to work here. Well, of course, New Atlantis is a big place. Lots of people, which means no shortage of injuries, communicable diseases, but we're well staffed and do our best to accommodate anyone who needs help. A medical problem Talia can't solve. I never thought I'd see the day. How can I help? We've been professional acquaintances for a long time. She's an excellent nurse. If the well didn't need her so badly, I'd have offered her a job here ages ago. Sick children? Well, we can't have that. I'd be happy to help. Let's see. A stomach bug. I've treated plenty of those. I keep extensive notes. I'm sure I have something that can help. Ah, yes, here we go. This should do the trick. I've uploaded some of my notes on common stomach issues in pediatric patients to this sleigh. Please, pass it on to Talia. She can keep it. And give her my best, will you? I hope everything works out for those kids.
something to report? You look like you need something, yeah? Doing the best we can here. That's it. Really? Let's see. Ah, oh, this is perfect. I knew Dr. Lebedev would have what I needed. I'll have this solved in no time with these notes for reference. Thank you so much, dear. Really. I couldn't have done this without you. to be where we left it. that need these supplies you know just by breathing the air in here you are being if people would stop poking their noses into virus. every unexplored biome thank in the you. galaxy perhaps we'd have a little less work to do so you do thank you this will directly aid our research running this facility is a challenge even when there isn't any. take care
I couldn't tell you the last time I wasn't breathing the same air. Just one week without something weird. That's not too much to ask. Last few errors are out of system. Means I got about ten minutes to see the place again. Be careful if you run into those ecliptic jerks. They fly around like they own the settled systems. Not exactly a hotbed of criminal activity here, is it? Whoa! This place is a far cry from Aquila City. That's for sure. I have to keep an eye on these doctors, or they'll work themselves to death. You're in the vanguard, right? Hey, Perhaps we should consider not staying long. <laughs> or breathing deeply. I'd like some privacy. We appreciate the company, but you might want to keep your distance. Pain's not too bad today. Dr. Cartwright in Aquila City said I was crazy when I told her I wanted to transfer. Got anything you need to offload? Trade Authority is always by. Kiosk right here for you. Anything I can help you with? Okay, no problem. Maybe I should have just gone to a keyless city. It's probably nothing. The people of New Homestead need these supplies. Whoa, 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 what? Can't let you in without proper authorization. We get the cases no one has ever seen before, or... Bye. 
It would be enough to know that the Rangers are... You catch my bin, now take care. Assuming all systems are nominal, we are ready to depart. Try to stay out of our guests' way. We're always here for you. I'm here to satisfy your needs. I, I cannot well recall ever having the time, let alone the funds, for a vacation someplace like this. Be sure to experience all our resort has to enjoy your stay. Let me know if I'm able to help with anything. I see you've returned. I can let you in if you've done what you need to do. But if not, I can't have you disturbing the execs. See you next time. Enjoy your stay, knowing you're in our capable hands. I see you've returned. I can let you in if you've done what you need to do. But if not, I can't have you disturbing the execs. Take care.
Welcome to Paradiso. No major incidents in a while. private security in the settled systems. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sugiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Honestly? It's not as exciting as you might think most of the time. More often than not, we're just handling drunk and disorderly conduct. Heck, even pirates leave us alone for the most part. I think it's because some of them actually vacation here. As long as they're not bothering anyone, we've been told not to worry about them. <laughs> Neither. We're our own private force. The Paradiso Group pays top dollar for top-notch security. And I dare say we're some of the best in the business. We have to be out here on the fringes of the settled systems. Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? You're right. We're not. Which means we're not bound by anyone's laws but our own. In other words, it's our system and our rules. Neither the UC nor the Free Star Collective will help you if you get into trouble here. Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain. So we're unsure of the ship's intentions. It bears no discernible markings or allegiances to any manufacturers we're aware of. I'm hoping that doesn't mean we're dealing with some sort of new deep space threat. And not quite. It took some time, but we received a transmission. It was all... Pardon the phrasing. It sounded almost alien, like nothing anyone's heard before. Clicks, distorted groans, buzzing, really disturbing sounds. Now, one of our engineers says it could just be some busted comm equipment or incompatible signals, but we're not sure. So far, no one's disembarked from the ship. No landing craft, nothing. We don't have the staff or ships to spare, and otherwise we'd dock with it and attempt to board. Can't say for sure. Looks worn, but not cobbled together like a Crimson Fleet Junker. Others have been saying it's some new Varun design, a gigantic battleship with hidden armaments preparing for assault, but that doesn't check out either. There's also been talk about non-human sentient life. The comms data we received might support that, but humanity's spread far and wide and no one's ever encountered anything like that. Still. First contact. Could you imagine? It is. Whatever's going on, we need to approach this with care. First, see if you have more luck communicating with them. If not, you may have to try boarding. 
Whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who or what ever's on board. As soon as you have any more information, report to Oliver Campbell. He's the CEO of Paradiso. All formal decisions will need to go through him, and he'll have your pay. Good luck. Now that we are here, what will be our next course of act? human from the planet earth in the soul system it's just that we weren't expecting to find life let alone human life out here we thought we were the only ones to leave earth you thought you were the only ones i I'm afraid you have been unaware of a great many things. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Rida. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. You've come aboard the Earth colony ship, Constant. Generations ago, we set forth from the planet Earth with the mission of colonizing a new habitable world in the spirit of our ancestors nearly a millennium ago. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200-year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by... Well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and... the others. We're not entirely sure. Our engineers believe it's possible to our technology just isn't compatible with theirs. All we hear when using them to communicate with anyone is a bunch of disturbing noise. It gave me the heebie-jeebies at first. 
Well, the short answer is, we didn't. It's a generation ship, which is to say that most of us lived long, happy lives on board and passed our mission down to our children. It was never intended that the original crew would make it to our destination. The goal was always the preservation of the human race, above all else. Though, it would seem that was perhaps a bit <laughs> presumptuous. We do. Well, sort of. We saw structures using our surveying equipment. We've also seen the various ships pass us by. Some even seemed to want to communicate, but couldn't. Of course, we had no idea that they were being piloted by other humans. Ah, your question confirms one of our recent theories. It would seem that some form of faster-than-light travel or space-bending technology was invented during our long journey. That would explain why we would find people this far out into space. I guess technology leapfrogged us at some point. Interesting. I can only imagine that our predecessors didn't believe the technology would ever work. And so they made the decision to leave when they did. Of course, we know that now. Human or not, we were still unable to communicate our intentions. As soon as we discovered them, we fully expected negotiations would be necessary. Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. DaCosta, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will follow you to the bridge, ma'am, for security purposes. I do not believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you insist. Welcome to the Earth colony ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios, climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years, he fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that's what happened. So, he gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. The Constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change that. We got strict rules around here. They're strict for a reason. So, here we are. Let's talk. No matter the outcome, I won't let my crew down. I think I'm coming up on... six years now? I was only a teenager when my father died passing command of the ship to me, as is tradition. Because of that, I've had to sort of learn as I go along, instead of taking years of study and apprenticeship under the prior captain. I think some people on the ship resent me for not having the level of experience as my predecessors. But at the same time, without my command, we likely wouldn't have made it here so quickly. A bit frazzled, as you can imagine. People are anxious about discovering that we're not alone, and also worried about what will come to pass. While we hope we can work out a deal with the people on the surface, they seem reluctant to reach out, so there's no telling what will come of that. I do know that we can't afford to stay here in orbit forever. The ship was built to sustain us for many years with backup provisions just in case, but even that will come to an end eventually. Mm, difficult is the wrong word. It can be both challenging at times, and also exciting. Our mission was to rebuild humanity on a distant world, believing that we were Earth's last hope. To think that while there has always been a Brackenridge in the captain's chair, that I am the one to finally oversee our journey's end is truly exhilarating. But with this stumbling block in our path, at this final moment, I fear tough choices will need to be made. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of 
diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? We suspect that our equipment is woefully obsolete compared to whatever you all have now. In all honesty, we never expected to need to communicate with anyone, so our comms aren't particularly robust. That limits our options. We even attempted communicating with lights and sounds, something we saw in an old movie, but I don't believe they picked up on it. If anything, it may have inadvertently alarmed them. Ah, oh, so they have a name, Paradiso. And it sounds promising that they sent you here to speak with us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assume that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. Based on the data our ancestors had when they launched this endeavor, it was determined that this was the perfect planet for us. Even if we had another viable candidate planet, we lack the resources to get there. And as you know, it took us 200 years to get here. Our people have no desire to go back to drifting the stars so their children's children can possibly settle on an inferior planet. When we left Earth, there were no claims to planets this far out into space. We had assumed that we were the only ones attempting a generational journey such as this, meaning that there would be no need for a formal claims process. Regardless, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, did manage to file a charter for this planet's first colony to be named New Jamestown. According to his records, no one took it seriously when he filed it, so likely it was either ignored or the records were lost to the ages. Given humanity's lack of interest in colonizing the far reaches of space at the time, it shouldn't have been a problem, but again, here we are now. Excellent. Make no mistake, this is our planet, and we intend for them to see this our way. So, speak with their leadership and see if you can negotiate a solution on our behalf. Preferably, get them to see things our way. Report back to me and let me know what they say, and we'll go from there. We thought about it, but it simply won't do. I need to think about the distant future of our people. Sure, our first settlement may be small, but our predecessors dreamt of our new civilization spreading across the globe. That will be difficult if someone else plans to do the same. While we're not completely close to the idea of sharing, it's much easier if we have complete domain over this world. I'm serious. We have a rightful claim to this land, and I intend to fight for it. But as you're currently our only hope, perhaps you'll honor my request and give it your all, for the sake of some very weary travelers who have come a very long way to be here. Thank you.